Hello, intrepid followers, subscribers, and watchers of my YouTube videos. I'm at a fun event. I'm at the Funko building. It's their grand opening, and so there's a lot of people hanging out. They're gonna do a ribbon cutting here in a bit. Renee, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's a video. Oh! <laughs> What are you doing, Renee? I am dressed up as Kaylee, who is a Funko Pop. But you have that Funko Pop. I don't have it yet. Oh, not yet, but you'll get it soon. I was hoping to get it. Yeah, but maybe one day. I don't have it yet. Maybe one day. It's my goal. <laughs> uh, there's the ribbon cutting area. And they've already got people, some people, there's some people from the Marvel Report from YouTube right there. And they're gonna do the ribbon cutting here in a minute. There's all these people here. So they got an area over here for the artists where um, people can like do some artwork. So they got like kids activities. And so there's an artist tent. And then over that way, they have an autograph booth. Supposedly Kevin Smith is gonna be here. That's word on the street. Kevin Smith's gonna be here. But we'll see. It's been a crazy day. So there was a line last night. I'll show you some pictures right here. Um, it was pretty crazy. Um, and they uh, yeah, a lot of people lined up to get tickets to go inside. I wasn't part of that because I didn't want to stay up really late in a line in the windy coldness that it was last night. Um, some of my friends tried to, like Renee and Regan, but it didn't work out. They didn't get any, which is a bummer. But the store that you get to go in and see will be open all the time during the week. So I'll get to go do that eventually. Eventually I'll get in there. That'll be another vlog, I think. So right over there. This is the line to go in and see the actual inside. So that's what we missed out on doing is going in there. But that's okay because it's going to be open other times of the week. Um, so we're just going to wait for the ribbon cutting and see how that goes and then go from there. So if any of you watch the Funcast, the Funko Funcast podcast, it's a really fun podcast. One of the guys from the podcast, actually all of them are hanging out right over here, I'll show you. Okay, there they are, there's the Funcast blast thing. Oh, where'd Yoko go? Yoko's hiding from me. I can't get her in the video. Where'd she go? She's being elusive. There she is, there's Yoko. So there they are, there's... There's Sully, there's Hillary, there's Yoko, and there's Cameron right there. All the members of the Funcast bus right there. So uh, I haven't get them to look this way or not. Anyway, well, there they are. So they're a really cool bunch of people. Their podcast is really fun, so you should check it out. I'll put a link to their podcast down below. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting right now for everything to get started. So we'll see what happens next. The mayor of Everett, here he is, Ray Stephenson. <laughs> Welcome to Fun Call. So for someone who uh, works and lives downtown, seeing this come out of the ground and see this incredible investment has just been awesome. I know you all appreciate Fun Co. I'll make a confession. About a year ago, Lainey McMullen said, I want you to meet this guy. He's, he's a toy maker. And I went, what? She said, no, no, you, want to, you need to meet him. So I put her off as long as I could. I went out and met with Brian Mariotti, who is one of the most visionary leaders I've ever met. And he said, you know, I want to be downtown. And he said, uh, will you, uh, you want us? And I said, yeah, yeah, I think so. And he said, well, will you help us? And I said, yeah, I'll help you. He said, done, we're coming. That's the kind of decision making that I appreciate. And to have this incredible investment here for our community is going to put Everett on the map. You know, we're, we're a little bit different up here, right? We're a little gritty, we're a little funky, but we have a lot of fun. And with Funco, it's going to be incredible. So I'd like to invite Brian Mariotti, who is the CEO of Funco to the stage. This company started in 1998. Last year posted 425 million in revenue. Wow. Let's give it up for Brian. How's it going, Everett? 
Okay, so for your ever locals, I want to introduce you to uh, our fan base. They're called Funko Fanatics. So can the Funko Fanatics give Everett a welcome? I think we have people here from literally Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Europe, all have come here just to uh, welcome us in, in our, uh, our new flagship store. So our fans are why we do this. They're the greatest fans in the world. And I think we had close to 750 people that came from all over the world just to be this event. So uh, fellow fanatics, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And then finally, we, we did one thing in the, in the building that's really exciting. We have 80 world-class artists, and our company is only as cool as the products they make, and it's all because of uh, Ben Butcher and Sean Wilkinson and their leadership and why we make such great, great products. So when they came to me and said, you know, we love to volunteer and give up time on our weekends to, uh, to maybe teach kids how to draw and paint and sculpt, is there any way you can find a spot in the store for us? So we built a little Funko University. If you guys peek through the windows as you're walking through, we got room for about 25 kids on the weekends uh, through multiple classes. So if you're local and you want your kid to learn how to be an artist or give them a career path, our world-class artists are going to teach these kids for you guys. And I think it's a really cool thing they're willing to do. So thank you, Ben and Sean and, the, and our art team. And last but not least, because I know you guys want to get inside, and I'm boring the heck out of you. Um, we got a, a really cool uh, friend of Funko, uh, Kevin Smith, director of Mall Rats and Clerks and Chase and Amy. He's here. Um, he uh, has a, a hit show. I think it's in his seventh season on AMC called Comic Book Men. They've been here for the last two days filming. Uh, Kevin, come on up. Absolute honor uh, to be here today with y'all and Everett for this very special occasion where heaven on earth is literally opening right in front of our eyes. Um, I've been inside and it's everything you think. It's it's fantastic. It's it's beautiful. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Funko fan and, uh, and right now in our culture you're nobody unless you've been popped. And uh, yeah. and, and I, I, I know the pleasure of being popped. Sounds dirtier than I mentioned, Whoa. but you know what I'm talking about. Now, I just want to share with you, I was I had the benefit of being invited to the Funko Fun Days at San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah. Which, I'm telling you, if you've never been, make it. Make the trip at one point in your life. I was surrounded by 15 to 1,800 people full of energy and it was the loudest I've ever heard human beings get in my life and I've seen a Blackhawks game at the Madhouse in Chicago so I, I right now before we dive into the rest of the day we have an opportunity to beat that deafening record man so on the count of three just give me the long sustained woo that they did here uh, in, in San Diego let's see how loud we can get ready count of three one two three Thanks, folks. So we got a, uh, Kevin has already been popped, but the comic book men have not. So let's bring on stage and let's unveil our comic book men. Come on up. Mike, Brian, Ming. All right, guys, for the first time, the comic book men have not seen their pop, so let's introduce it to them. Ready? Woo! All right, let's give it up to the comic book men and Kevin Smith. And you guys, let's go. Funko HQ is now officially open. We love you, Everett. I got the ribbon. I got the ribbon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I haven't done any ribbon ceremony, uh, cutting ceremonies in my past, so excuse me for forgetting one big thing. But I do have some big ass scissors and they are heavy in the house. Okay, so now we're open. 
These scissors are on sale for $4.99. They got Funko logo on them, so. Thank you guys, we love you. Okay, so they're giving out these really cool little things. It's a lenticular picture of one of their new monsters. You can sort of see it in the thing. His name is Bugsy Wingnut. So they made this thing called the um, Wetmore Forest. They named it after one of the streets here in Everett. And it's all these different like monsters. So it's really cool. You should check them out on their page. All these people behind me here, they're in line to see the comic book men and the owner of Funko and they get their, him to autograph stuff. So that's what they're in line for. And then there's a ginormous Iron Man right here. Look at him, he's ginormous. Isn't he ginormous? He's ginormous. Okay, everyone, well, that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. I hope you're a subscriber and you're gonna continue to watch. And if not, remember to share this with someone else. Let them know about the fun things I do. Um, it was really great to go to the Funko headquarters opening and see the costume characters for Cause as well. I put all their links down below, so go check them out. And I hope you have a good day. And so, uh, 